Hey guys, welcome to Wovotech and today let's find out some cool launchers that you can install on your Android smartphone. Let's get started. Begin with a simple, clean, yet popular Google Now Launcher. Coming right out of Google, you can expect snappy transitions, clean interface, and there's not too much between you and your apps and the widgets. Swiping to the left most screen shows a Google Now and the app drawer is simple and well the scroll is vertical now. The only downside of it is it offers the least customizations out of the lot. Next up, the fan favorite Nova Launcher. Though at first glance it looks no different than Google Now, it offers a whole bunch of customizations, be it animations, transitions, folder views, docs, gestures and whatnot. Well, few of them are part of the prime version. So, next up, the Z Launcher. Developed by Nokia apps, this though in beta seems to be interesting. The first thing that strikes your attention is the simplicity. Swiping to right takes you to the vertical list of all apps. Swiping left will take you to the screen to add widgets. You can search for an app by simply gesturing the first letter of the app, which actually is quite fun to do with. Next up, the Opus Launcher. The only thing I can say about it is it's small, fast, yet powerful. The app drawer provides a vertical scroll of apps. The leftmost screen takes you to the news, fun little animations here and there and whatnot. You can choose the transition effect, double tapping takes you to a bunch of exciting wallpapers and most of all the app is quite under 5 MB. If you are one who later shifted from a Samsung smartphone, this might be the pick for you, Ace Launcher. Based on TouchWiz, it is a very simple launcher for the Samsung fans. App drawer to the right, Samsung style transitions, sorting apps, hiding them, everything is present and accounted for. Switch to the prime option, pay for it and you are good to go. So, there you have it, few of the popular launchers that you can try out to customize the look and feel of your Android device. If you have any further suggestions, feel free to drop the names in the comment section below. Also, if you have got any suggestions for upcoming videos, let me know in the comments as well. So, that's pretty much it, like it if you liked it, if you didn't, you know what to do and for more videos only on this channel, do stay subscribed. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching and as always, have a great day. Bye bye now.